This is not going to be my cleanest video ever. It is, however, going to be, I think, my coolest video ever. Two weeks ago, I got contacted by Castle Creations and they asked me if I wanted to bring my Yeti XXL to Costa Mesa, California for RCX 2016. Of course, I said yes. So, I set out my journey from uh, the airport in Oslo, which you can see over here, snowy, it was cold, to get my first flight to uh, Heathrow, London. From there on out, I would catch a connecting flight, bringing me eventually then to uh, Los Angeles. Stop number one, Heathrow, London. Uh, immigrated really quick for a quick cigarette. I know it's bad. Now, after making sure that my system was sort of like fueled up enough to last me the entire flight, I went back through immigration, hopped on the subway that connects from one terminal to the next. Actually, I needed to go to the very last terminal. Uh, and this subway takes you from one side of the airport to the other. I have no idea what it would look like from, uh, from like a sky point of view. All I know is that Heathrow is huge. At first I was afraid that it would be like a super tiny plane, but it was actually an Airbus A380. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those, but it's like a double-decker, king-size, super uh, huge airplane, and I'd never been in one of those, so that was quite exciting. The flight took about 11 hours, and when we arrived in Los Angeles, it was very dark, but it also gave me a really good idea of what the city looks like at night. Seeing it from the sky is very impressive all these tiny lights you see the freeways you see all those tiny streets people living everywhere it's just amazing and mesmerizing at the very same time Stepping outside the terminal in Los Angeles, I could instantly feel the heat. I needed to get on this shuttle bus. Fortunately, I decided to also scoop up a map over there so I could actually find my way around Los Angeles, but still I managed to get lost in Inglewood. I don't recommend doing that at night. Well, I guess this is officially day one uh, because yesterday was uh, just travel. I slept, I showered, I shaved, did everything else that I needed to do at breakfast. Just got a message from Lou Lee from Madzilla RC Works. He's going to pick me up and we're going to his workshop in uh, Huntington Beach. And uh, I'm going to have a look at uh, what he makes. He makes some amazing uh, rock racer chassis. Most likely you know him. If not, uh, go check him out. I will see if I can link that. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a lot of fun. We're at Madzilla RC Works. This is uh, Lou Lee who uh, runs the show. Um, where are we? Huntington, Huntington Beach, California. Surf City. So, really cool, super warm out here. I'm not used to it, we're drinking beer, so that's good. So that's loosening me up a tiny bit after the long flight. Cheers! Cheers! Prost! Skol! Cheers, whatever. And Lou makes, for those who do not know, Lou makes uh, custom roll cages, uh, chassis, like everything that you need for rock racing, rock bouncing, uh, scale crawling, all that stuff. And he, he, what do you bend it out of? And then, this is how it all starts from over here. This is basically just a warehouse. Just to explain, your your uncle makes uh, these type of uh, this is what for like postcards. And yeah, stuff postcard like that? racks. Anything yeah. dealing with racks and wires. We call it wires, not ro well. Technically, there are rods, but we call it wires. Okay. Uh, because um, I guess when it comes to a commercial industry, we call it wires. And the rods come in rolls. So this is what you start with. Yes, exactly. And then it goes through the machine. It shoots through it and it straightens it out. And you cut it to the size you want, and it goes to the machine and it bends it how you like it. Uh, this is about anything. Anything that's dealing with wire bendings or rod bendings, uh, that's what we do. That's what we do for a living. Nice. Um, you know, we can go as far as like uh, just cages like this. Uh, yeah. Time out cages for your kids if they're bad. Yeah. <laughs> or, or for the wife. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, so you know, what's this one? Is this a prototype? Yeah, it's a production chassis. It's my Mantis. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. It's easier. Oh, this uh, is yeah. the Mantis. Yeah, because yeah. I've read about now it. Now I got it all taken apart because uh, um, some kind of experiment was stripping out parts for here and there. Yeah. Um, and it is so much more organized. And it's, yeah, than it is and it's, all, it's all, obviously, it's all uh, machine bent. Uh, for example, this is crazy. This stuff, stuff like this. And then it just turns out looking like this. Uh, nothing special. N nothing special. Nothing it, out it, of the ordinary. Trust me, it is special. Nothing out of the ordinary these days, obviously. Ugh. Yeah, but Lou is a real fabricator, and a lot of people just claim that they are, but 
I'm not, I'm, I hope that the camera picks up the level of detail, but it is really well made. And basically everything's pretty much pre-bent uh, pre and uh, ready to go. And then over there, there's my team. That's the Mazzilla team. That's probably, that's the team I play on. Ah. Yeah, that's basically it. You know, that's the story of my life. With the, with the joystick, now it is filming, by the way. With the joystick, you can like push it around. Pretty nice. And you can, uh, you can set the gimbal speed on it. And the only thing that, well, it's, it's really is the only downside is that stupid uh, fan and uh, the microphone picking up on the noise. Because if you look on the on the back side, you see there's a, a stock microphone here. Sure. So that thing just picks. Now is there up. is there like an upgrade for that? Um, for yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that will come up. With it. Well, yeah, and you know what? Everybody watching this will just have to deal with. Uh, Maybe there's somebody <laughs> with, with it not being perfect. Maybe there's some. No. Ah, oh, wicked. It connects to your phone and shit. Yeah. Oh, it's got a nice little wide angle on it. Wow. Wow, I even got all the way over there. Boogie boogie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Huntington Beach. It's not as advertised and not what you think it is. And it's just a huge dump. <laughs> Surf City, California. 405, famous 405. We're going to Beach Girls Bikini Bar. I'm just joking. Huntington Beach, Surf City is what it seems. Uh, okay, so, so we just come from stop number one and we're now on our way to stop number two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. And stop number three, uh, right to, now to you're get, gonna... To get culturally educated. Uh, get in your right lane, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna see this little alleyway right now. Not this mobile home park, but this little second inlet. Yeah. Turn inside here. <laughs> Just woke up, had breakfast, day two. So uh, yesterday we went out with uh, with Lou from a Mazilla. Uh, sort of like bar hopping, great fun. Lou is a super cool guy, really genuine and really, I don't know, super kind. So today I'm on my way to, um, uh, fuck, I don't even know what it's called. I'm going to Axial Racing to show them the XXL and hopefully they will like it. Uh, after that, I need to pick up all the castle people at the airport. So that's going to be cool as well. Uh, finally seeing uh, them all in person. I haven't done a lot of filming yesterday. It's been all, it's been crazy uh, with all the drinking and the bar hopping going on. Okay, just arrived at Axial. I'm so fucking hungover, so I really hope that they have coffee because I got a freaking headache. Uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Well, they seem to like it. I was really honest and I told them I was really hungover, so uh, they're taking pictures right now and I'm having a smoke. Uh, good time so far. Early in the afternoon, I set out to pick up Kate and Thomas from Castle Creations at uh, the airport. And after that, when we arrived at the fairgrounds, that's where RCX is being held, it turned out that disaster had sort of uh, struck. We had no product. FedEx had messed up and the crate that was supposed to be arriving earlier that day had not come in yet. So Kate was making phone calls frantically, trying to get a hold of the shipper, seeing where the crate was. Without the crate, no show. So what, what's the what's the update? We're, the update we're at the expo center, center right now. The update is FedEx sucks. <laughs> FedEx sucks. So we're waiting for a pallet that hasn't come. And if there's no pallet, then we basically we can't sure. put anything in the booth. So yeah, we got our uh, boss uh, talking to FedEx and ripping him a new one. Yeah. <laughs> and the shipping manager and the warehouse so manager. So every, everything is getting really close right now. So either we're going to have a show or we're not going to have a show. So. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. It's exciting. We're, we're still going to have a good time though. Either way, yeah. yeah it's just, yeah this this is Thomas from uh, Hi, Castle, by the way. What happened now to the shipping? Are we there? Shipping. Yeah? Shipping. Shipping didn't fail us. FedEx failed us. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, they did. <laughs> but they're not going to fail us because they're going to bring it tomorrow. Okay, so it's we're going to cut it like super close, right? So that's how we do it around here. Yeah. 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 
like la- last last minute call type of thing. It'll still look beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely, be definitely. Well, we, we will have the best booth, right? It's gonna be awesome. Set up the shortest period of time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we are. Oh, see, it? dude, that's cool. Right. Yo, what up? It's Reed Germain. I'm here with Chris DeGraff, also known as Emmy Storm, and we're here at RCX. We just got into our hotels. Just checked out the Double XL. It's Effing crazy. Yeah, right now we're checking out the Osmo. Reed has never seen one. Um, yeah, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, it's a mind trip, isn't it? I'm gonna get one. So we're, we're sort of, we're checking out the app. So I'm like staring at the camera with the app. Wait, where did we go? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we are. <laughs> By the way, the double XL, from what I've seen so far, is the, the bell of the ball. It's the best rig in the whole convention center. From what I've seen today in setup, Thanks. <laughs> it's not. It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not paying you a compliment. It's like you add up the numbers, and it's like yours is the best. Bam! I'm a I'm a, I'm a rule breaker. Okay, so so it's gonna look horrible. The lighting's gonna be so bad. Yeah, but you you know I'm filming a ride, right? I'm filming already. So anyways, we're going to Pizza Di Oreo or Di Oro. They're supposed to have the biggest slices. If the slice isn't bigger than my head, then it doesn't count. Filming you, I'm filming you, filming you. I'm filming you, filming me, filming you. <laughs> Filmception. Look at this thing. Dude. <laughs> I'd like to welcome the new baby in the family. Like Dioro. Pizza. Your first Italian baby, isn't it? It is right now. Oh my god. Hey, stop going low with that camera, man. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, man. Make it like look really fast. Like, number five is alive. It's like a, it's like a Wally. It looks friendly, doesn't it? It is friendly. Oh, there he is. Did, did you bring it to Alpha? Just landed. He said he brought all this stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Turn left onto Del Mar Avenue toward Fairgrounds. Three, two, one. Oh, we would have got Contact. salty bones. <laughs> I know, by a giant. All right. Okay, okay. let's get in trouble. Not get arrested. Look what? Miles, turn right onto Harbor Boulevard. What's going on? Hey man, man. <laughs> you good? Good to see you, man. Are you having fun? Yeah. Put it all on each shirt. Put it on the back. Got some shirts. Radio Control Patrol custom printed. Yes, indeed. Radio Control. <laughs> Joe, damage report. What's happening? Do, do we get stuff? I don't know. Of course, not around 9 o'clock as promised, but when the troll line parade was already fully happening, at 10 past 10, FedEx finally delivered the crate that we needed to get RCX up and running. Okay, so RCX 2016, let's see what we got. And hopefully it will record all of the audio. So over here we got Firebrand, one of the brands we work with, with the Radio Control Network. Stuff is cool. New brand, got a bunch of new stuff out. Really big on drifting, drift tires, stuff like that. What's up, man? Good? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. For the back, we got a Horizon. All the different brands, the Fateras, the Lozies, planes, the boats, like everything. Okay, so let's see what else is up. Team Lowsy Racing, of course. Good stuff, really nice chassis. Still need to run my uh, Lowsy A, uh, the truggy that I got with the gas engine, but uh, that, will, that will happen really soon. This is not the only hall that, uh, that we have for RCX, so there's like two buildings with like an open space in between. It's a lot, a lot happening over there as well. Primal RC right here. With the five foot dragster, that thing is gnarly. I love it. Over here, this is like home, this is castle. What? 
Let's have a look in the back, Traxxas. Traxxas has, the, as always, like the biggest booth at RCX. Microphone? Yeah. Yeah, I just stock audio so bad. So I just uh, I put my uh, my road mic on it. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that it's like in the frame at times. Like if I angle it the wrong way. But it's picture quality of it's perfect. Oh yeah. Get a lot of attention with the Osmo. People wondering what the hell it is. Yeah, man. What's up? <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Nice to meet you. She'll clear that grill in a matter of minutes. Everything that comes off immediately, they have plans to clean. Yeah, she's, she's always got to go. She's got thighs, she's got ass, and she's fast. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, hey. All I know is she's oh making me hungry. Yeah. Making me hungry. <laughs> I'm going to have to order another one just to hang out for <laughs> So, yeah, these are the remains of in and out burgers on the trunk of the rental car. <laughs> that was what? about to say it. No, man, do it. Do it. Do That's it. That's what's up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a uh, peanut butter salad. <laughs> yeah. David, give us an update. How was that one? Great. Yeah, yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah, very enjoyable. I had a ball. What was the funniest moment of today? <laughs> Probably uh, that, that, that's your gonna photo be ball. Oh, is that going to be your channel? Yeah. 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 Dude, you're so red. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm like... sitting next to the heater. Oh, yeah. We're going to have baked reed here any minute. The foundation of greasy burgers, lots of alcohol and good people all around me. I did not do a lot of filming that night. Outside we got the short course racing, buggy racing, I don't know, some off-road racing going on, some drone flying going on, FPV drone racing, super cool. Heading back in the open space, you come up to a drift course that they set up. And I know that this is like the poorest presented video in my lifetime, but I'm super hungover, I'm super tired, uh, my feet are sore. Now Elvis, tell me, what, what do you have, man? So, this started out as stock, axial, Yeti, trophy truck, and it just started evolving. Basically, the only thing left of the axial is the body and the transmission. Indoor rock crawling going on, so they got like a, I don't even know what it's made of, but I got a big horse set up right here. Trip set up right here. So to summarize things, what's RCX really about? It's the ultimate gathering of RC hobbyists and manufacturers showing their creativity, showing their craftsmanship and their innovations. It's about throwing all the available ingredients together to build your scale dreams. Built, not bought. It's about getting to meet all these people from all different backgrounds and even making some new friends. I'm very fortunate to have experienced this. Finally meeting Lou from Madzilla was a privilege. The man's creativity and skill know no boundaries. Meeting Rez was great. We can all be different and yet so alike. 
There's Kate and Thomas from Castle Creations and of course Joe who made it clear once again that the company and its products will only truly set itself apart from the competition if there's a genuine passion present in those behind it. Some guys it was good meeting up with again, like for example Reed Lucas, my associate in the Radio Control Network and a friend for life. And as for others, I cannot wait to make them part of the chapters of my life yet to be written, like David Martin from Radio Control Patrol. A priceless experience. Money can buy big trucks, huge golden watches and ugly rings, whiter teeth, whatever. But without a true passion and without mutual respect, however, it will never buy you an experience like this. And as David Martin would say, that's what's up. How was it? Was it good? Woo! Uh, yeah, so that's it. 2016 is done. Uh, RCX. It was totally awesome and overwhelming, and I didn't even shoot half the amount of the of the stuff that I uh, wanted to shoot. Uh, again, I'm super grateful to uh, the castle for uh, for having me out there. We had such a blast, uh, such a cool adventure. I'm uh, pretty sure that I will do more filming because I still have a couple of days here. Uh, day one without a hangover, but I'm very tired. So RCX, we wrapped it up yesterday. It was uh, yesterday and the day before. It was super awesome. Got to meet so many great people. Today, Castle is flying out. The entire team is flying out. Uh, I dropped Joe off at the airport yesterday. So uh, we're going to have breakfast. Then me and the rest of the crew, we're going to head out to the airport. Hopefully, we're going to meet up with David Martin from uh, Radio Control Patrol a tiny bit more. Um, and I will try to make the rest of the filming a tiny bit more coherent because I just know that I've been super slacking on, especially on wrapping things up. But uh, you just need to deal with that. What would David Martin say? I have no clue. Maybe if he would see something like that. Uh, That's what's up. That's what's up. Exactly. Do it. Do That's it. That's what's up. <laughs> Grizzly morning, we picked up David Martin at his hotel and after that we went to Waffleholic. I never had waffles for breakfast, but they were actually quite good. Morning David. Good morning. I feel, like, I feel like recovered a bit. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> well, you need to, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does this qualify as healthy or not? Uh, it's got some green on it. It's got some yeah. green. And a red. There's a red thing. Yeah, there's tomato. Holy shit, look at this. Oh my god, that guy's drunk as fuck. After dropping everybody off at the airport, it was just me left there. Well, and of course Lou Lee, but since it was just me at that moment, I figured I might just as well discover Newport Beach a tiny bit. They have a great pier, the Balboa Pier. Yeah, that's right, just like Rocky Balboa. It was a pretty cool place. Pretty awesome, had a couple of slices of pizza, that was not so awesome, but uh, well, at least I got some food inside me. Now I'm gonna go back to Lou, and I hope that I can find it, because last time Lou brought me over, uh, Lou from uh, Mad Civil RC Works, and now I'm dropping by with the rental car, so that's gonna be a nightmare most likely, but uh, we'll find out. After taking the wrong highway out of Newport Beach, I did manage to navigate my way to Huntington Beach to Lou's workshop. Raz was there as well, we had a couple of beers, we had a really good time and I agreed that uh, Lou and I would meet up the very next day for breakfast. Lou told me Chinese breakfast, I did not really know what that would entail but I was about to find out. Lou is a true craftsman and in what he does I think he is one of the very best out there. You know what? It's perfect. What? This, it's so straight. Everything everything lines up. Well, thank you. See? I, it, ho it's, I it's, hope it's, that people see this on, it's, on camera. It's, it's not as simple just looking like this. This, this, you gotta look like that. You gotta look like that. You gotta look like this. Every, every aspect of it. And pe people don't see that. Because, which, which makes me look good too, because they don't see the imperfection because they look at the big picture. Yes, please.
second to last day. Uh, this is so. So this is still uh, a full day. Tomorrow I'm flying out at I think nine in the evening, but I need to check that, so I need to bring back the rental car. Yes, that yada yada. Today I'm going to drive up to Santa Monica. I'm going to visit uh, Reed and his fam and his family. Say hi, have lunch, uh, <laughs> see what is happening over there. And now Lou is about to pick me up. Now we're going to have some Chinese breakfast. I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, Raz was already warning me about chicken beaks and chicken legs, but I'm pretty sure that it will be okay. I hope the weather will stay okay. It's a bit cooler than yesterday, but um, uh, that's not a bad thing. I'm not used to these temperatures anyway. Uh, I have not been in the pool, by the way, because I've seen that uh, in the evenings it's like filled with uh, what I think is like prostitutes or a uh, call girl. So I'm not. Uh, I don't. I don't want to get sick or anything. So I'm not uh, taking the gamble. Um, oh yeah, and I've discovered that the audio still sucks on my phone, but I hope you will. Uh, I hope you will be able to cope with it. out already. <laughs> so we have. This Chinese breakfast is called dim sum. Good for pork, just chicken feet, cow stomach, just shrimp balls, and just wonton. Rice rice rolls and just your typical stuff in that point on. I'm literally the only European here. But after this, we're gonna have some snake heads, uh, fish eyeballs, and frog legs. And I'm serious. Oh, that was good, but I'm really full. Hey, what's going on, everybody? From, from the other side of the world. Other side of the world. Well, you'll be a lot more helpful once you get to the other side. Yeah. <laughs> So how did, how did I do on the chicken feed? Are you proud? Oh, I love it, man. Good job, man. Yeah. Job real good. But the LA traffic looks like like this this time of day. When I was in the shuttle bus, I grabbed one of those maps that they have from uh, Alamo. So I've been navigating my way through town uh, according to that map and a bunch of screenshots. So this morning at to, driving to Lou was not a problem at all. I actually managed to make no mistakes at all driving uh, over to Santa Monica. So you may recognize this tiny alleyway actually because uh, Rita shot quite a couple of videos over here. I'm out having a smoke. I know that's not good for my health, but you know, it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> So I'm in Santa Monica right now. Traffic was pretty crazy. If you're not used to driving in LA, I do not recommend it. I just get at the, the new hotel, at the Comfort Inn, and the first thing that this gentleman tells me is, you look like the Diaz brothers, the UFC Diaz brothers. I'm a soldier. <laughs> That's awesome. Where are we at? Yo, we're at 7-Eleven. We're downtown LA. It's like it's like it, it, well, it, it's of course it's Reed, it's Rod, and well, I mean, we're about to go get these. We're, look, we're about to go get these beers. Okay, we're about to get these beers. We're buying a lottery ticket to see if we need to split that. <laughs> but I think I think not. We're gonna go back and we're gonna have some fun, and then I'm gonna drive you to the airport. Yeah. Tell me you gotta leave. Ah, uh, life. You're driving. Thank God. A ten. Last day, I need some coffee. Really nice weather out. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning or something like that. And this is like the strip of, uh, of Santa Monica. I need coffee, I need something to eat. And then I'm pretty sure that I will feel a tiny bit more human.
tiny fender bender, I guess. I was a bit late for hotel breakfast, so I'm gonna see if I can find some, some more. I did have a coffee and orange juice, but I'm not exactly full. I really feel like something like a slushy or something. Ah, Starbucks. It should be okay-ish. Checking out of the hotel now in uh, Santa Monica. Short but sweet. Breakfast was good. I'm a uh, tiny bit recovered. Right, Reed is too hungover to do anything. <clears throat> I'm sort of too hungover to do anything, but uh, still gonna try to make it out to the Santa Monica Pier. Now it's about three miles away, so I should, theoretically, I should be able to walk it. Now that's the hotel. So we're going that way. Probably not the best of ideas to go for a 20 block walk when you're hungover, but uh, I'm kind of proud of myself for doing this. Okay, guess I'm like halfway down, so 10 more blocks to go. Got the refreshments. Really cool place, seems to be uh, really happening, to put it like that. back and forth between uh, uh, super stable Osmo footage and uh, my phone, but uh, oh, I figured I'd just pull it out. Oh. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Shit is warm. Hey, and go figure, everything, this whole thing, because of RC cars. How awesome is that? Just said goodbye to uh, Reed and to his family. Um, well, Santa Monica as well was freaking awesome. The whole trip was awesome. I did so much, met so many people. Uh, a long flight ahead of me, but that's not really a problem. I'm completely sleep deprived, so I know that I haven't been too coherent in uh, what I've been talking about and all that stuff. My video shooting hasn't been all that, but I hope that you uh, <laughs> that you were able to sort of like see past that and uh, appreciate this video for what it is. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or whatever uh, about this video and about this whole trip that uh, Castle made possible flying me out to RCX 2016, Leave them in the comments box more info about the event and also more info about uh, castle creations of course in the video description box and also of course about the radio control network uh, which i'm a part of because that was a huge theme as well uh, during the entire weekend and during my entire stay and it has just been a great overall don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet and i hope to see you guys around thanks bye bye